TIFU by laughing at a woman's unfortunate demise in a full auditorium. NSFW This happened a few years ago, it was my first week of university studying law. I met a young guy a few years younger than me let's call him Dave, in my class who I spent most of the first week with. It was our first ever criminology class and it was a new lecturer a woman in her mid-twenties and the lesson was in an auditorium of nearly 100 people. She began by explaining the difference between manslaughter and murder and began to tell us of a real case example. The lecturer who ended up quite red in the face explained about a couple engaging in some form of role play and eventually ended with him fisting his partner. A signet ring he was wearing caught inside her and she unfortunately ended up bleeding to death. Now comes the fuck up. Obviously after this story there was a very awkward silence. Dave thought this break in noise was the perfect time to ask me a pertaining question in his innocence. I get why that would be considered manslaughter but why does she keep saying fisting instead of punching? The question was so hilariously innocent at the worst ever time. I'm now sitting cry laughing unbelievably loudly after this absolute horrible story. It was 100 times funnier like a joke at a funeral because I knew how surreal it must be for everyone else in attendance of me laughing so hard I can barely breathe. TLDR. Woman that died from being fisted caused me to cry laugh in front of 100 people because my friend thought that fisting was synonymous with punching and asked a question about it at the worst possible time. I suspect lawyers and attorneys working criminal cases will have to develop a robust and rather dark sense of humor. You might just have a head start. Reminds me of the time that an anthropology professor, who usually babbled incessantly about the Yanomami, was randomly giving a lecture about STDs. Maybe it was like STD World Awareness Day or something. Anyway, she kept mentioning water sports. My friend and I were baffled at how you could be at any risk of contracting an STD by water skiing or river rafting. I wonder if anyone at this smallish Christian college had the faintest idea of what she was actually talking about. Who would fist someone with a ring on? That's the real fuck up.